but, but, but bam, then that whole yeah. bringing you, it's the whole group. Everybody, it's the seed. Enjoying this movement. That's oh, probably a lot of things being that can truly change this world. But the, and that I'll show you seep down that and whole, whole of this whole movement. Uh, the urban spirit thing. It's the vibe the soul the for the whole spirit. That's what it's called. It's the urban spirit. The soul is for the whole souls. It's all the lightnings that we throw away. We all have had some right struggles and we done broke away from them. And we threw them down. I just see everybody running around this whole. So the urban spirit in martial mix is that soul in that whole. It's the soul, it's the spirit, it's the consciousness, it's the principles to awaken the dead, to redirect those kids or those teenagers, you out there, my brothers and my sisters, everybody that's out there that's trying to be what you hear in the rap song, be a 50. Trying to live like a 50. It's no different than the kid thinking he had to go to jail or be hard. That ain't new. That always been something that's been going on. Where a little kid want to throw in general so he could fit in. There's a deep hole. Where the girl thinking she got to hang that whole drug deal so she can fit in. You it's know, the guy walking around with the Herman survivors before there was 10. That sprout out all the things. Untying his shoes that while she was running the stairs. The guy who only dressed. And the third, what we call third and way, the revolutionary because that's just how he felt. You know, the, the people were trying the to guy rise who up do the fashion of tennis shoes and sweats. Equal rights came from just they like trying to bring the old just from something. A casual sports way. They got free from whatever they were but trying to know, fight from. What they were trying to get away from. They didn't just keep on living that way. They were trying to get out of that. But the sad thing. That's conscious. But, you know, everybody during those times, I know when I was coming up, they was trying to break the ones and take what you're trying to get away from and make it seem right. And then when you got people breaking away from something bad and carrying all that baggage and all that same old attitude and lifestyle into another level, and because corporate America, the people of power, wanted to make so much money and didn't care about their consciousness but only cared about the profit, what they did, they just created monsters. Because then you get those guys or, them, or women and them broke away from that negativity. They said, yo, I ain't got to change. They're going to accept me however I want to be. You know, if, if you don't sh in order to maintain this way, you got to dress this way. You got to act this way. You got to change. But if you if you showing them a life, they see these people. They see the same. You ain't got to change. Express myself like them fake. guys. I want to be hard like these guys. guys. You can bring these guys, guys over here. here. Say I want to be like them. I you wish know, I had a mom and a daddy. I wish I had somebody to teach me, somebody to guide me. Urban spirit is about trying to bring the best of both worlds together. Because if you can change the poor. And give them the support and compassion and, 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 and the confidence that we give the kids that are already at that level and got the mommy and daddy. And then you give those kids the tough love that these kids are getting. Then guess who? I contribute to changing uh, big masses of people. That's the movement. Bring about the balance. You know what I'm saying? Some of the kids at this level don't want pats on the back. They don't need them because they cry too much. I mean, back in the day, my mom would take a branch off the tree and, and whip my behind, man. She would put it to me. She made me make up my bed. She made me sweep. She made me clean. Half of the kids today, I don't care what they got, some straight A's. They can't even make up a bed. They can't even push a prom. It's like they were saying in the Michael Jordan book, the, mom, the, the, the mother said, if, if it wasn't for me directing Mike's efforts and telling Michael Jordan that he had to do his chores, and regardless of what, I don't care what you say. If you don't do your chores, all this is, this, this don't matter. It ain't no discussion. We ain't going to discuss it. I'm the parent. I know what's best for you. You're going to do it this way. And when you get old enough, then you can do it your own way. But right now, you're going to do it my way. But no, we don't do it that way now. It's like, oh, let them, let's hear them out. How are they going to discuss what they don't even know? They don't have enough experience to know. I don't care what they learn in books. Wisdom only come from time, fame, and experience. And gathering experience 
to be able to make the appropriate decisions. Urban Spirit is bringing that, man. Don't let the name fake you out. Don't let the, the, the way we come at you, the, the truth that we bring to you. The, the Bible said the truth is a devil-edged sword. It's going to cut you up. It's going to cut up the good. It's going to cut up the bad. Because it's going to remind us of all the weaknesses that we have. In order to change the world, we can't keep going around the hole. We got to put the soul into the hole. We got a little kid that's in that hole, in that abyss, that can't go to the average successful martial arts school because don't nobody want to spend the time with them, but yet their whole movement is spending more money in the entertainment industry than what you can possibly imagine in the martial arts industry. But then that same group of people, because well, the ones that's going to see the Jackie Chan movies, they done really supported the movies in the seconds. Look like that some sort of act like it's non-existent. Enslaved Chinese person. Who supported the Shaw Brothers, Brothers films? The that, Five Fingers of Guess what? The, the Jimmy Wayne was following that them. stuff. And the sign tickets to see him. It wasn't in the suburbs. And it was like, they couldn't stop. It was in the hood. It was in the, it was in the ghettos. It was the Spanish kids. It was then the black they kids. they put the money behind That's what Bruce Lee was marching to the dragon before. Came into the dragon. And then that's when we that's went the to that. That's the furry. Chinese that connection. That suburban love. That's how suburban, suburban theaters, man. But the rawness. Because where did he take his fighting style from? Why did he go the back on of Muhammad on. Ali? Where did Muhammad Ali come from? Where did Muhammad Ali come from? The rawness of the hood. The struggle. The, 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 the struggle of the nation of Islam, the, that whole movement, that's what defined this greatness. Now, if we want great martial artists, we got to find the balance. Now, of course, we got the, the kids that, that are in the successful, wealthy martial arts schools. They're getting the good grades. They doing well. They got the mommy and the daddy. But those kids still like, they still got weaknesses. They don't even appreciate stuff. They put inside, that baby's going to grow up to be incredible. If you put bad inside that baby, that baby going to become bad. You put good inside that baby, that baby's going to become good. Now we look at the rawness of the hood. Even in the world of martial arts, man. You know, when you look at the talent that we see right now, it's, it's good. I mean, come on. And, and, and you... You look at the quality of so many black belts, it's almost like we got robots. We got everybody trying to be the master. They're trying to be like the, the system that somebody created to cage you and enslave you and trap you. Like Bruce Lee said, the individual is more important than the system. But now in this day, the system is more important than the individual. What is that doing to creative expression? That's why we can't have revolutionaries or people who bring about something that's solid and strong and can last a lifetime. Because we got people trying to control him. Um, of course, you know, he's my instructor, but he's also, can you tell the audience with some of the things you're involved with, Master Brown? Well, I, I, I was set on the board of directors for an uh, educational funding company, the, the event that's going on here today, but I also sat on the board of directors for a NASCA, North American Sports Karate. Uh, I'm a vice president uh, with um, Martial Arts Channel, the new thing that's coming up, and on and on. Of course, I'm the uh, president of my own Shaolin Wushu Academies. Okay. Um, our first question for you today is, what makes a great entrepreneur? Well, I think it's someone who has that, that spirit to uh, create, um, and, and I think that's the first and foremost uh, that has a Anybody can, can do a job or anyone can perform a service, but it's that person that has that spirit to create something new, something driving, something that the, um, the, the, the market wants and is willing to uh, take it to that next level of providing it uh, for the, uh, the market. Um, my belief is that you can have anything that you want in life if you're willing to help give it other people what they want and need in life. So you find something they love, you love to do, something that the public wants, and you create it. And uh, that's what's always, I believe, driven that entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial uh, spirit. Um, how does struggle define a successful or great entrepreneur? Well, I, I think that it's obvious uh, <laughs> that old saying that, you know, show me someone who... Uh, it has a successful business going, and I'll show you somebody who's failed at 10 or 15 things already. Uh, if, you fail, if you're afraid to fail, you're probably going to never succeed. Or you can take it the other way and say, show me someone who's never failed at anything, never struggled, and I'll show you somebody who's never done anything. You have to be willing to get out there and, and, um, and fail a little bit. 
do all the people that work together at the highest level of success truly like one another? Well, I don't think they necessarily like one another, but they respect each other because uh, it's like in, in martial arts with fighters. I mean, uh, do all fighters like each other? No, but if someone gets out there and they're doing a good job or if they beat you or if they seem to be doing something that's better than what you're doing, uh, you don't get mad. You go home and you try to get better. You try to uh, improve what you're doing and you come back out there. But at the top levels of anything, whether it's martial arts or whether it's uh, business, I think there's a, a, a great six, uh, respect for each other. And if you have to find somebody you like, that's good also. How important is it to have committed and loyal customers? That's the question. I think in order to have committed and loyal customers, you have to have a, a committed and loyal uh, uh, entrepreneur. Uh, and, and I think it's very important because it's to committed and customer loyalty simply says that you're doing it right. But I don't think you create a good product or a good service, but that you care about them because they only care about you if they know you care about them. And you're always trying to strive to improve that service or that product for them. Um, because I'm your student, and I know that I didn't like took you through so much in the past. What was it that made you? What was it that made you not give up on me? Well, you know, you you. I think the, the, the true instructor or the true entrepreneur or CEO sees past what everybody else sees. They can see the good in people. Uh, if you're not looking at the outside but you're looking at the inside, uh, you're going to see the good and that's going to drive you to keep going. Long after everybody else who's seeing only the surface have given up or uh, turned away, what makes that top of the line folks successful is they see through all the haze and all the craziness and see the value in people and in a product. Yeah. And if you had something, some word of encouragement that you could give to someone who's probably struggling with something right now and can't see the light, what would you tell them? Believe in it. You have to believe in it. No one else has to believe in it, but you do. It's something I told you years ago. It's, it's your dream. And you don't get discouraged because other people can't see your dream. It's a dream. <laughs> Therefore, only you can see it.